Dear students, good morning. Welcome to the history class. When we read about Mauryan Empire, it inspires us regularly because we have to remember one person here who was a great statesman of our ancient India. His name was Kautilya. His other names are Chanakya and Vishnu Gupta. This Kautilya is also known as Chanakya because he was the son of Chanaka. This Kautilya what a, was a great guru of Chandragupta Maurya and he played an important role in the dethronement of Nandas and establishment of Mauryan Empire. This establishment of Nandas and establishment of Mauryan Empire he was played a major role in this this kautilya was a great guru of our ancient india who was a great acharya of university known as takshashila we have to remember takshashila university his other names was chanakya and also Vishnu Gupta was the great guru of Chandragupta Maurya. Maurya Samrajya Anta Hedwaga Vidyarthigale Namu Namma Bharati Aitihasada Upa Mahan Guru Anta Hedabudu Atanana Nam Nenam Padapole Beku Atanasaru Kautilya Atva Chanakya Chandragupta Maurya Na Guru E Kautilya ಈ ಕೌಟಿಲ್ಯನಿಗೆ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಅಂತಾನು ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯನ ಮಗ ಈತ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಈತನ ಹೆಸರು ವಿಷ್ಣುಗುಪ್ತ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಮೌರ್ಯರ ಸಾಮ್ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯ ಒಂದು ತಳಹದಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಈ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯನಿಂದ ನಂದರನ್ನ ನಿರ್ಮೂಲನೆ ಮಾಡುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮೌರ್ಯ ಸಾಮ್ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಗೆ ಈ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯರು ಕಾರಣ ಆದರು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ತೀವಿ and he was also responsible for setting up of a well developed administrative system he was responsible for well developed administrative system of mauryan empire this kautilya wrote arthashastra he wrote arthashastra in the samskrit in samskrit this artha shastra divided into three parts by dr shama shastri we have to remember dr shama shastri who was the librarian of see who was the librarian of oriental research institute of mysore oriental research institute of mysore this librarian discovered the the text arthashastra in 1905 he found it in 1905 and its English version in 1909. He uh, developed this Artha Shastra in 1905 and in English uh, version 1909. And the contents can be divided into three parts. It can be divided into three parts. First part. 
फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ अर्थशास्त्र गिवन बाय डॉक्टर श्यामा शास्त्री इट वाज द बुक ऑफ कौटिल्या रिटन बाय कौटिल्या फाउंड इन 1905 द इंग्लिश वर्जन इन 1909 इट्स कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स द फर्स्ट पार्ट डील्स विद द किंग काउंसिल एंड गवर्नमेंट so is that in his council his council and government modale bhaga arthashastra vanna moonu bhaga madidaga adaralli modalane bhaga adu helodu rajana bage rajana vakutagala bage athwa athana sabhegala bage amale sarkarada bage king council and government and the second part second part in arthashastra it shows civil and criminal law it includes both civil and criminal law and the third part deals with interstate law diplomacy and war third part says that includes interstate law and uh, diplomacy diplomacy and uh, one thing is last one in third part it shows that uh, war अंतर्राज्य कानून अंतर्राज्य कानून राजतांत्रिकते मत युद्ध भाग युद्ध बे राजतांत्रिकत बेहू अंतर्राज्य कानून बेहतर इतना ना कहती अर्थशास्त्र Outlines the seven limbs of the state. It outlines the seven limbs of the state. Seven limbs. 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 the first limb seven limbs means sapta anga sapta angagalu sapta angagalu anta heluvaga namely first one is raja raja king second one is mantri second one is mantri which means we can say council and third one is in uh, seven limbs third one is janapada janapada or we can say population population and fourth one is in seven limbs fourth one is durga Durga means fort, and fifth one is in seven limbs, kosha treasury, kosha or treasury. Sixth and seventh limbs are bala and mitra, bala and mitra. bala means the army or power bala army power of the state and mitra means allies mitra rashtragalu ondu rajya nadibekadre yelu angagalu irbeku anta kautilyana artha shastra helutte adaralli adu helodu yelu angagalu anta heluvaga modalenedu raja king 
ಎರಡನೇ ತು ಮಂತ್ರಿ ಮೂರನೇ ತು ಜನಪದ ಅಥವಾ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಕೋಟೆ ಕೋಶ ಅಂದರೆ ಟ್ರೇಸರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಪತ್ತು ಇರಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಬಲ ಅಥವಾ ಆರ್ಮಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಿತ್ರ ಅಥವಾ ಅಲೈಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಮಿತ್ರ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗಳು ಅಂತ ನೆನಪು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸಕ್ಸಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಮೌರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಂದುಸಾರ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ who was the son of chandragupta maurya ruled between 302 273 bce ruled between 302 273 bce nothing much is known about him because uh, our historians not much stories have gathered uh, belonging to this bindusara this bindusara is the successor of chandragupta maurya was the son of chandragupta maurya he ruled from 302 to 273 bce uh, and nothing much is known about him according to our historians his son ashoka became the king after bindusara Bindusara's son Ashoka was the successor of Bindusara. This uh, in next session we will read about Chandragupta Maurya and also about Ashoka who is known as Ashoka the Great. Who is known as Ashoka the Great. So in this session I will finish here. Thank you. Thank you one and all.